Okay. So this is going to be an entry-level Mercedes. That is nuts. I mean, if you see this on the street, you'd think that this is like one of the higher end Mercedes. This is like pretty much what we're gonna see at production level. All right, so let's start off with the front. First of all, the car is incredibly shiny. I don't know what they've done to it, but they call this color pomegranate red and it's super glossy. I mean, it transitions into like the, the top glass roof, like seamlessly it just looks like a really shiny car first of all what you got is like this grill this has 274 individual stars and these kind of like light up and dance all right so this is the welcome what's cool is that they're actually three-dimensional so when you look at them dead on they just look like lights but when you look at them from the side you see they kind of like protrude you also get this kind of this like a daytime running light cutting across the front, but it also goes all the way to the side. But then when it's off, it just looks like a chrome strip. That's pretty cool. I hope that this like makes it to production. I'm not sure because usually with the side strips, they're a little bit picky, but I really do like the way that that looks. And I love that it like kind of transitions into like a chrome strip. And one small feature that you might not notice at the front, is has a small kind of bump, right? That's your LiDAR because this car is going to be pretty much prepared for level three autonomous driving. The rims, are incredibly shiny. They remind me of kind of like the Maybach chrome dishes that you get. These look incredible. I actually asked if they were center locking because you see this. And yeah, it's like, imagine like center locking Maybach rims, like a hybrid of that. It's got the Mercedes stars all over, incredibly glossy. These are 21s. By the way, if you guys are not fully aware of where this car would stand, think of the Mercedes C-Class. This is supposed to be one level slightly below the C-Class. The car that you're seeing right now is a concept specifically for the electric version, but they will also make a combustion CLA that will look almost exactly like this as well. So if that's what the entry-level Mercedes CLA will look like, whoever's making the next S-Class has a lot of pressure on them. The thing that you kind of notice immediately is the roof. This glass roof is huge and there's no kind of back pillar. You see how all of this goes to the back? There's nothing here like kind of interrupting it. What's also cool is that these individual stars that you see at the top are also reflective. So the light coming from the inside actually will reflect off of these stars, which make them all look like they're illuminated. And then I think that the back looks a lot more, you know, like, like something that you'd expect from Mercedes. It has the same kind of design language. This is actually more, more familiar than the front. The, the front, when I saw the front, I was like, damn, okay, that's like completely something else. This is familiar. I mean, obviously the tail lights are still unique. They have that star shape. And of course you still got that kind of chrome strip going across the back, but this is still somewhat familiar. Man, take a sneak peek from the back of what the inside looks like. We're about to open the doors, but I mean, this looks like a spaceship, man. All right, you guys ready for the interior? The outside is amazing, but I'm telling you, the inside is mind-blowing. Are you ready? There you go. Check this out. The future is now, old man. I mean, this is, this is crazy. Let's start with the obvious. This is the new MBUX super screen. It goes end-to-end. And uh, you might recognize it from the EQXX. It's almost there, it's the same thing. What I like is that they have this kind of digital analog feature. So while the entire screen is digital, they do have some actual physical pieces like the AC vents. And what's cool is that even though this is your AC vent that you can kind of turn back and forth, the actual AC comes from behind the screen. The steering wheel also looks incredibly futuristic. You know, you have like the Mercedes star right there, but then it kind of, kind of like vacuums inwards with some ambient lighting chrome finish. Also, you're gonna see this kind of shape everywhere. You see this one right there? It's also on the doors. That's from the original Mercedes logo. It's the Mercedes Laurel. To hop inside, they asked me to take my jacket off because I got very harsh zippers. I might scratch the leather. And everything on the inside is like sustainable material. So they have pieces that are made out of paper. So, <laughs> this is insane. I mean, I really, cannot believe that this is almost ready more features down the center you see that that is a water cooled chip for basically the entire operating system of this car called the mbos mercedes-benz operating system basically uses supercomputing and artificial intelligence to like enhance safety convenience 
your preferences and and basically everything else on the inside what you see on the screen you get real-time renders you see that that's all powered by the supercomputer and the artificial intelligence I think that's pretty cool passenger also has a screen again this is kind of like infotainment climate all that stuff also has the same kind of AC going on on that side you have this kind of floating piece that's supposed to be a cup holder probably the fanciest cup holder that I've ever seen I mean it looks like a cup holder straight out of area 51 so this piece is wrapped in paper I mean this is paper first time that we've ever seen paper used as a material inside of a car everything on the inside is supposed to be made from sustainable materials basically yeah they're trying to achieve full carbon neutrality by 2039 the pedals you have the plus and the minus pretty cool touch just take a look at these seats too I mean these look like I would even say they're borderline AVTR ish seats. I know that's kind of a stretch, but you know, kind of reminds me like how thin they are, how kind of futuristic they are. They kind of scoop. Pretty cool. So at the back, oh yeah, from the back you can really appreciate the, uh, the glass roof even more. What I was saying before is that this glass roof only has one pillar now. So normally you'd have the glass roof interrupted at the front and at the back, but now what you have is you only have this kind of pillar which kind of cuts the glass roof, but it goes all the way to the back uninterrupted. It's crazy, man. The back of these seats look like something out of the future, kind of like chrome finishes. This right here is both a wireless charger and a magnetic phone holder. So actually, right now, it's not gonna work, but in theory, you would just, oh, don't wanna remove my tape. In theory, if you want to charge your phone and you want to watch something at the same time, for example, like a, a really good Supercar Blondie video, you just basically pop your phone there, boop, it'll stick, it'll charge, and you can just watch whatever you want to watch. Climate control over here, the doors also very elegant and fancy, ambient lighting is everywhere. So take a look at the back, see what you get. Yeah, this is crazy. This looks amazing. So apart from all the fancy looks and everything else, this car will actually have a completely new generation drivetrain. This car will have a range of over 750 kilometers. You guys remember the EQX X, which actually ended up doing 1,200 kilometers. They took some of the technology from there. This is going to have over 750. Also the charging, you'll be able to get 400 kilometers of range in 15 seconds of charging, which is insane. And the way that they've done that is a couple of things. First of all, They've basically been able to enhance electric efficiency by making the battery less dense. So basically the batteries weigh less while the efficiency goes up. They've been able to stack it better together. And yeah, in general, this is just a complete game changer of a car. I can't believe this is gonna come out soon. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you think, by the way.